Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com. 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 All right, you've heard me say that over 400 times in the past five years. Actually, the first 10 videos, this is my first video, I actually didn't say it, but I think it's time for a change. It's because I'm not shooting with DSLR cameras anymore, I'm shooting with mirrorless cameras. So I'm changing my name from learningdslrvideo.com to just learningvideo.com. So now with the new website name, will the content on my website change? Maybe a little bit. I mean, if you've uh, been following me for the last five years, you knew I started on DSLR cameras. Um, so I'm gonna be talking about more mirrorless cameras, but you know, the whole thing with these smaller cameras, pretty much the same thing. I, as you guys have been probably following me, I don't shoot with things like C500s, Area Lexes, Red Epics, those type of things. I like smaller cameras. The smaller, the better. Get rid of the mirror box, it gets smaller. I love it. So are DSLRs bad? Do they have a bad meaning to them when you're shooting video? Not really, I mean, you know, 5D Mark III creates wonderful images, it really does. Um, but these other cameras that are out today, um, this could all change in a week when NEB comes around next week. But the DSLR cameras today have a few disadvantages, especially on the Canon side of things. You know, Nikon is starting to give us more features, but like Canon's not giving us focus peaking, zebras on their DSLRs. They're wanting you to go to a much higher end camera like the C300. I like the smaller cameras. Um, and that's what's great about the mirrorless, you get rid of the mirror box, things get smaller, which is what I like. I like lightweight cameras and I like to be able to shoot whenever and not get noticed that much sometimes. And having a big camera can definitely make you get noticed and have a security guard walk over to you and say, what are you doing? So does my website look any different now with the new URL? No, not really. I'm gonna work on a new logo at some point, but about the only change you're gonna see in terms of my videos is the new bumper. So what happens to the old site? It's still there. It's just basically everything's gonna get redirected. So if you've come from Google and an external link or somewhere like that, it won't go to the old site. It'll automatically go to the new site, whatever deep page you're on within the site. And if you've been kind enough, and I really appreciate all the people that have linked to my site over the years. And if you got a blog roll and you're linking to my site, um, I really appreciate it. And if you could, if you have an extra second, maybe the next time you're in your blog or whatever, if you could just, take out the DSLR part so it doesn't have to go through that automatic 301 redirect. I would really appreciate it. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but I'm gonna try using the new Meerkat app that links in with Twitter. So if you follow me on Twitter and you see a notice that says, Dave Dugdale is live on Meerkat. Um, if you just press that button, download the app and you follow me, you'll actually be able to watch what I'm looking at. So a lot of times I don't go there for news coverage. Um, there's plenty of other people that do a fantastic job like Dan Chung from newshooter.com. Definitely follow those guys. But a lot of times what I'll do is I'll go up to, and I'll talk to a product manager and he might be saying, you know, this is a new technique that we found with this piece of software. And I thought, oh, this would be really cool to share. So I might just hit live stream and record him while he's doing it. And what I'll try to do is with Meerkat, uh, you can't watch it later, which is kind of the fun of it in a way, but it stores it to my iPhone. So those type of videos, I'll try to come back and maybe make a best of type thing when I go back to my office where I am now. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy the new URL website name, learningvideo.com. It's much easier to say for me. I can say, hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningvideo.com. That is so much easier to say. And so many people are like, DSL, what does that stand for? Digital single lens, what? So, and it's so much easier to type and all that great stuff. So that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.